now we are going to deal with user registration next for the user registration i'm going to use the default user authentication system of django to implement that without wasting your time let's start building okay let's go to the views i'm still going to use the views of the core to handle the user registration before we start creating the function let me import the necessary dependencies i'm going to import the default um, auth system for login built by django i'm not going to make any modifications to it from django dot contrib dot art import login okay next let's start building the function let's create for sign up request if request dot method request post form equal to sign up from request dot post i'm gonna go create this um sign up form inside our core i'm gonna create a new file called forms.py py inside this forms.py i'm going to create the sign up form from django dot contrib dot art dot models import user from django dot contrib dot art again dot import user creation form then from django import form contrib and not country let's create the sign up form class sign up form user creation first name forms dot share field mass length quarter 50 required quarter force last name equals the form share field mass length the same 50 then required quarter force email equals to forms dot email field mass length okay i should even make all these ones to be true instead of false next we created a class meta model equal to user field equals to list username comma first name last name email password password again this one be two okay now the form is set up let me go back here and import our form from dot forms import sign up form then we can use it here now that we have set up the form let's continue building our sign up after importing the form we we use if statement if form dot is valid then user equals to form dot save login request comma user all right after that the next thing we're gonna do is to return redirect home so let me import redirect here on the render let's just add redirect okay once we redirect that means we have been able to sign up form equals to sign up form then return render request comma call slash sign up the html put our form here form our sign up function is ready let me also set up the views for our account and request return render request call slash account the html at login required you cannot access this if you're not logged in let's go here and import a login required from django dot contrib dot out dot decorators import login required now let's go register our views for sign up and for account 
and also create the one for login in our URLs. Here, let's register for sign up first. Let me just copy this. Here will be sign up. Let me import the views for sign up and also account. So here will be sign up. Here will be also sign up. This will also be sign up. Now let's import the login view from Django at default system. So from Django dot contrib dot art import views. This will enable us to import the view for login directly. So copy this here. I'm going to put login to. We are using the default um, alt system for login view in Django and I'm not making any changes to it. So views dot log in view dot as view. I'm going to add the template underscore name equals to call slash login dot html comma as usual name login. Let's also do same for logout. Let's import logout view here logout logout view. I don't need to import any template here should also be logout. We have set up the necessary functions. It's time to create our template. Let me go to core. Inside the core, I'm going to create a new file sign up.html. Let me quickly copy this so we can extend and block. We will now create the form another div. Okay, now let me create hedge one inside here. I'm going to call it sign up form dot asusia so you take it all then method the method is post let's add the crf token always remember to add crf token whenever you're setting up forms in django crf token handles the middleware you can read more and understand why it is necessary to always add the crf token check out the django documentation to understand why it's very very important for you to add that label impute this should be for first name it should be for username why this one should be for first name why this one should be for last name let's add more for email email add for password for password one Okay, let me add some if statement inside to check for errors. If forms dot errors for field in form. Let's add div inside it to put a paragraph that will check for error. Error. Okay, let me indict this for error in form dot none field underscore errors div here again okay now let me copy this okay now let's end for and if let me add the button give button submit Now let me go up and add some classes to our div to beautify it. Class mass. Let me make this to be large. Mass auto flex flex wrap. Pardon for close this class here. Make the width to be full. BG. Let me make pardon to be six rounded SL as the border radius. For the header class margin button six. Then test to SL. Let me add some space. Let me make it four. Okay, let me add as W width full. Let's make margin top to be 10, pardon left, six background, border radius. Copy this and put it in the order. Impute. 
okay faster now for here for this div this paragraph here let me also put some class pardon to be six the background red 500 is fine test also red 500 add border radius to it I think this to even be 800 instead of 500 let me copy do the same for here now for the button padding top let me make it four border radius padding left let me make it six test white background red 500 let me add hover now let's go to our base and uh, register our sign up here let me add the url sign up let me also add the url for logout okay let's try to sign up now let me log this out create your account cannot access local variable form where it is not associated with a value okay now let's go back to our views line 49 okay else here should be here so that we can be able to use this form here not under this if statement this else is controlling the one for the request dot method okay save let's try again okay let me quickly go back and just make adjustments and uh, then we'll test run okay let me add the same class here let me make this to be three let's check again okay now let's test sign up and see if it's working let me use my name here Let me use Joshi. Then obviously no. Let's submit. All right. Let me log into the admin to see if the account I created was saved. Let's check on users. This is the only account here. That means we were not able to save the account we just created uh, let me go back home log out okay what i'm gonna do right now is let me go to my settings as the settings.py Okay, I need to register the URL for login here. Login underscore URL equals to login. Then log out, redirect URL equals to, then login to redirect URL home. Let's go back to the sign up. Okay, I think I should register the sign up URL here instead of using dot let me register it directly url sign up save go back refresh now let's create account again joshi any name can you be use any any uh, gmail.com mm -hmm. okay let's try we are able to create account as you can see the account is created and we are logged in this uh, has changed to log out because we are currently logged in now i can log out Let's set up the login template and test run our login since we are able to log in, but I have not set up the login here.
inside our core template we are going to create the login file dot html okay let me add the div here okay before i even add that let me copy as usual let's paste this here and block now inside here indict add div add another div here and h1 login next i create my form inside the form i'll add another div label this one is for email i don't need the four then um impute name username let's duplicate it this one is for password for the test it should also be password now let me go to sign up size sign up let me copy this class here so we can use it here for the form um let me also copy this class use it for this and also for this next let me copy this to save time paste it here okay okay let's come here to copy this class Sorry. paste copy for h1 for the action register the url for login then method post this class should be for this div why this is for this div okay save i think everything is now set up let's go back to our base and register this to capture login save now let's just run and see refresh try this let me first log out then let's log in any at gmail.com login okay CRF verification failed request aborted CRF token missing go back to here we need to register our form to capture CRF token copy from here inside our form here I will paste it save go back to our go back now let's log in any at gmail.com please enter a correct username and password know that both fields may be case sensitive okay we're having this error because i have not set up the login to capture email I think I should even do that right away so that we can be able to use either email or the username to log in into our account. So let's go back to VS Code. Inside our core, I'm going to create another file and set up our auth 
to be able to use email to log us in. Likewise, using our username. Inside our call, I'm going to create another file. I'm going to call it custom underscore art underscore backhand dot py. I'm going to import from Django dot contrib dot art dot backend import model backend next i'm gonna from django dot contrib dot art import get user model next i'm gonna create a class i'll call the class custom authentication backend i'm gonna import model backend I will create a function called authenticate inside it i will add self request username equal to none next password equal to none quacks get user first of all i will try to find the user by email then i will say user equal to user dot object dot get inside here i will say email equals to username except user does not exist here try user equals to user dot object dot get username equals to username except user dot does not exist then return none if user dot check password password return user return none we save this everything is set up now let's go and register this inside our settings.py file inside our settings we'll create a file called authentication underscore backend we'll create a list first the app where we have our file we'll use core that's where we register the app custom underscore art underscore backend then dot custom authentication backend comma django dot country dot all dot backend dot model backend comma save now let's go to here to try and login with our email let me refresh this login it automatically logged us in because we have set that up but let me log it out again so we can try it ourselves any at gmail.com submit see we are now able to log in okay the next is to now control this so that it will not be able to bring out this login when you already logged in so we are going to now set up our account and also edit the account let me log out again To now control the login, I have to set up my account. So let me create. Okay, before I create a template inside, let me close the sign up. We are done with that. Also close this, close this. Okay. Um, inside our views, I have already created my account views. And I think I have registered in my URLs already. Okay, now I have not. Let me register it here so we can create the template and make adjustments. This should be my account. This should be account my account. Now let me create another URL here. Call it account HTML. And for the base, I'm going to change this to be account instead of the login what it's going to do is if you're already 
logged in you will just access the account page that i'm going to set up but if you are not logged in it will now open the login um, page for you to log in let's set up the account um, template inside here we start creating our header inside this header should be my account um, inside this div so i'm gonna use strong copy this and duplicate it into three and this one we'll call it request dot user dot get full name paste it here also paste it here but instead of full name this one will be user dot username why this one will be user dot email i'm gonna add a hrf here for us to use an edit our account we'll come back to this when i set up the edit my account uh, views and url let me put hr i will create another header h2 create it as my orders here you see the history of the orders you made i'm going to come back to this quickly add class here let me make this to be six instead of three margin left then pardon four fine okay for the hedge one i can add another class here margin button it to five then test size and make it five sl add a class here margin button to six all right okay let me set up um the views for edit my account so we can add the hedge array here and also set up the template for that so i'm going to create another dev function and call it edit account request let me also make it a login required if request dot method request to post user equal to request dot user user dot first name equals to request dot post dot get first name let me just copy this then make changes okay let me also get for the username over all this username user dot save return redirect account return render request and call slash edit account dot html let's save okay now inside our urls let's register our edit let's import it here edit account edit now let me create another template file called edit account let me quickly go to sign up copy sign up so that will just make changes to it i'm going to make the code available like i promised to make it available to you guys on github let's make adjustments to this let me remove this remove this return this one okay this one should be edit account i don't need this let me remove the password now this should be edit account i'm gonna add value inside here we yeah, will now use request request dot user dot username 
copy. Okay, let's make it faster. Value paste. Then this will be request dot first name. Last name. Email. Let's go back to let me close this. Remove this. Let's come back here. Now let's add the URL for edit here. Okay, now let's test run. Refresh this. Reverse for account not found. What about in our URLs? Save. Refresh it. Okay. Now let's log in. Any at Gmail submit. Okay, now we've logged in. Now let's view our account. Okay, we're gonna break it down into different lines. I forgot to put break. That's the account. Another break here. Let me add name here. Let me just remove this here. And let the name come here. Email. Okay. Let me add this here. Edit account. Now inside here, let me add class. Let's make it in line block and margin top let's make margin top four padding ten okay instead of leaving it here let it be under this div okay save refresh okay let's click on edit account okay so we have username joshivai then first name you can edit all of them here then submit it to make the changes okay, let me just edit the name let me add instead of any name let me call it um let's say joe submit you see our name is now joe the changes has been made this is not looking well. Let me arrange it and make it to look fine. I'm gonna remove the flex. Let me make this mass width to be six SL. Let me also make the header to be three S instead of two SL. I should change this. Instead of having BG white, let it be gray. Okay, let me save. Let's go back to our browser here. Refresh. Okay, now it's looking fine and better. You can make changes. Now I change this to Joe. Let me change this to Biden. Save. Okay, we now change our name to Joe Biden from any name. Okay, let's go back to our code. Um, where is our to-do list let's tick user registration done under the user registration we created the data account also done we also implemented login done as well I was also able to make login to use either 
username or email done 